good morning good people welcome back to my youtube channel it's a very good sunday today is a very sunny sunday and i hope that everybody who has been to church they've been blessed so today guys we're going to go back to the farm and look at other products that i've been trying to to do in my farm in the small compound where i stay so i've been trying to to farm or to do practice on what can grow on the cotton soil and as guys as i told last time so many things can work as long as you have water and you have the heart of working so today guys we're going to look at one crop or one plant that we call pai pai or popo where with different people depending from where you're coming from so guys before i, go, I take you there i would like to give you the history of this pai pai normal people they say studies shows that they grow in mexico a lot but Studies have shown, research has shown that India produces a lot of these papayas all over the world. But the good with the, with the papayas, uh, doesn't matter the origin where they come from. What matters is where they have grown it and the purpose of you growing them on your farm. So even here in Africa, especially in Kenya, in East Africa, we grow papayas and for several reasons. So papayas, uh, before you start knowing about them, there are two types. There are two plants that occur. On your farm and both of them have to be on your farm for you to harvest the papayas there's male papay that does not give the fruits and there's a female papay i'm going to show you that gives fruits and then you have to realize that the papayas are of two kinds there's one that is very sweet and there's one that's not that is a, a bit not that sweet like the others you find or you realize the papay with small small fruits is normally very sweet i like the one with bigger uh bigger fruits that's about my discovery what i've, what I've discovered from what i've grown uh, on my farm i don't know about the others but what i've discovered the small one with the small fruits is normally very sweet and i've done two one i took the seeds from home uh from my region where i come from uh, that is in western parts of the country i planted the tall ones and then I brought the grafty ones, which I also planted here. Now, the grafty ones are normally very big, and also they are sweet. But now the ones with the tall trees are sweet. They are small fruits, but again, very sweet, unlike the rest. So today, I want to look at the health benefits and nutrition facts about the papayas that we grow in our homes. Guys, kindly before we go far, please, I'm asking you to always subscribe to my channel share and also give us a comment on what you like us to bring so i'm going to take the farm where now we show you the two trees first the female tree and the male tree so that now we start understanding how the papayas come along because you don't only plant uh, the plant starts growing but at some point where this it starts flowering something has to happen which we are going to discuss uh, today on this channel remember our channel we only focus we mainly focus on products that are grown on different soils and then we compare and then we give comments on how we can improve uh, them for the next uh, or the, for the future or what we can do to do to make work uh, easier for those ones who want to grow them on different soils so guys you can see here on my farm i've come to a papaya tree and you can see there there are some fruits already which are there some looks they, they, are, they are opening up and if you look up there it seems that when that's when some are coming up so some flowers are now giving out the the, the fruits as you can see there so those ones are very small but also when you turn around you'll see there's one that's all, 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 turning into i think it's orange color the orange color means this one is ripe it's supposed to be harvested and consumed so before that one, I also want, I wanted, to show, I wanted to give you some information. So this is this is a female papaya, the one you see here. This is a female one. Reason being, it's able to give fruits, and you can see the flowering, the flowering part of it. Let me show you there. The flowering part of it there. That flowering part is the one that now turns into fruits. See the, the flowers are also very big, as you can see there. The flowers are very big. So it tells you clearly that th these flowers will soon turn to be the papayas that we we normally consume here. So the flowers are different from the from the male one. So I'm going to show you something. So on the farm, uh, just a minute. 
so guys you can see guys you can see this is a, a male papaya how do you know it's a male papaya look at the at the at the, at the flowering the flowering don't give any sign that at one point it will give uh, fruits uh, from it so the wind we're hearing about the wind is about it's so windy here when it's sunny uh, from the region i'm staying so the the fruits there or oh, what you can see the flowers sorry the flowers are very small so they don't give any indication that uh, we, we are going to harvest any fruit from this from this papaya as you can see it is very tall eh? this one is one i brought from home it's very tall you can see the, the tree is very tall so this one what it does the work of the of the male tree in the farm is one is to pollinate the female another pollination occur the pollination in papaya trees it occurs by wind so when there's a lot of wind blowing to the female tree which i will show you now pollination move the pollen move from here the female tree so it means they fertilize the flowers on that on the female tree now once they fertilize that one the one now pollination occur the flowers uh, on the female tree will now start falling and dropping off now it means the fruits are about to come now there we go the female you can see the distance from where the male is let me zoom in so you can see the that's the male you can see the flowers and this is the female plant on the farm so the the, the male from the other side pollinates this female using wind because the uh, insects normally they are very few the the, the, the insects are called as bees eh, that uh, pollinate them so uh, what we know about papaya or popo is that they are pollinated uh, by wind so once the pollination have occurred and now here you have seen already we are having flowers now these flowers are now falling off they are going to become purples and here are the purples so we really want to learn more about this purple now this purple is different from what i'm going to show you, you this is not a grafted one this one is i brought from home and they are very sweet not tall but small in size i shall show you uh how it works now this one is ready to be harvested ready to be consumed uh, which i'm going to harvest as, as uh, i finish uh, filming uh, this video now th that is it that is very sweet and now you can mix it uh, with the pudding when you're eating so uh, for a purple to 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 be ripe you have to wait for about one month they're going to be ripe as you can see most of them are here in the farm also about to turn to be to be yellow you see the color is supposed to be turning to orange you can see uh, those purples so these ones are going to be ready but you can see this one already is like has been affected by some uh, some disease which i'm going to try to find out what exactly happened so this is the first purple i'm showing you i'm going i'm going i'm not i'm not going to show you the taller the taller one the, the taller the taller purple with small uh, fruits and I'll tell you the difference so mark this one this one is not grafted uh, 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 not that tall with a bit bigger fruits but very sweet so guys also you can guys as you can see here this is also a taller tree with small fruits what I can tell you I like what I've shown you on the upper part of my my farm this one you can see they are very short very sweet these ones are, are guaranteed they are very sweet but you can see in in the farm where there are purples they are also has to be the male dominated one here the work of, as i've said the work of the, of the male is to pollinate to make sure the female one has some fruit but as you can see here there's a good resident a good tenant who has come here for free uh birds are trying to put their nest here so as i was telling you the, the difference of the flowers eh? if, you, if you notice the flowers here they are they are very small so it means they cannot produce any fruit so this is a male tree you have seen it and that one there is a female tree so this one now fertilizes those ones through wind pollination as you can see now the pollination has been taking place and above there uh, it tells you very soon we are going to have some other fruits so you know that means we have been i've been harvesting them uh, i normally enjoy eating uh the the papaya is in my farm that's why they are there 
that's because of the benefits we're going to talk about so these ones are now okay they're supposed to be harvested and uh, consumed as you can see there there are two which are about to be yellow there so it means they're supposed to be harvested so i've been eating this pie pie since 2021 when he started now giving me uh, fruits so those ones i've shown you they are not gravitated now i want to show you the gravitated papai guys as you can see here the, the soil is always cotton but also ensure papai unlike other plants i ensure there is, there is water anything that we do no there's no plant that can grow unless, uh, unless unlike the cassava which doesn't give you problems every plant in the farm must have uh water must be put in because remember this is a, this is a cotton soil that i'm doing this uh, plantation on so water is necessary for plants where we ex expect uh, fruits to come from so guys as i walk you through the farm as you can see this are, these are what i'm doing so those ones who know about these fruits these are maasai fruits uh, which i have not known the name i know the name i'll tell you these are maasai fruits as you can see here uh, normally grown in the desert uh, on in in arid and similar the place also not part of the what we are studying today but what I also I've I've um, I've done the practice on on the farm now guys this is uh, the grafted papai you can see it it's very short you can see it it's a very short papai now it's very different from the rest reason being pollination of this papai comes from the pollination of the engrafted papai as you can see there let me let me zoom in for you this one uh, this this papai here is the one that pollinates that one it pollinates these ones down here now these ones are female as you can see their fruits are very big don't worry what you see here this was i was trying the the, uh, the my farm manager was trying to spray uh, to spray to, to prevent them from being attacked from pests and some Diseases. That's what we were, were doing last night. As you can see, also very nice. There supposed to be harvested. You see, very big fruits. You see, they are, they are turning yellow. But you can see there are some some diseases are trying to attack them. And I don't know where these diseases are coming from, but uh, that's what a farm expects when you plant when you're doing planting of so many things on your farm. So this is a grafted one. I bought it uh, 2022 December. So I've been also been harvesting some fruits from it. Now the the, the 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 grafted one, as you can see, it is very short with big fruits. In fact, amongst the papayas that I'm having on the farm, now this one is the one that's having big fruits. I don't know. I don't know the reason it's it because it's shorter or what happens. But to, for those ones who know about it, can right there in the comment and tell me so this the fruits are very short now once 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 the stem is very short and the fruits are very big this one is not that sweet much sweet like the rest i've shown you it's a bit smaller fruits i don't know why i don't know because it consumes a lot of water or what happens because as you can see even here uh, we water was put here on friday so it's not yet dry for us to add some water and what we normally do we do what we call mulching mulching we put <laughs> this grass uh here where the stems is where the, uh, where this the whole way where uh the papaya is growing reason being it prevents sun water from evaporating from from the the grass but you can see from the soil but as you can see uh the pottery that we keep around the birds don't give us easy time because they normally come here when they are when they are released they try to look for some insects down there so this is the main thing we are studying today. Why study about the the, the papayas? The papayas studies have shown they are very good fruits. They help us healthy and nutritionally if you consume them every day. And uh, number two, as I normally say, when you plant something on your farm, it saves you on cost. Going to buy one papaya at the market in Kenya, uh, I don't know about the rest of the world or where we come from. One papai cost around in Kenya, papai bigger like this one, it cost around 250 Kenyan shillings. The small like that one there, that small food here, this one, it can cost you 70 to 100 shillings. That's Kenyan shillings, that's one dollar, that one. One dollar 
can cost you that small papaya. But so here you can see this is two 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 dollars can cost you on it. So I've cut the cost of going to the market or buying my pies. And we know when the pies are on the farm, uh, people in your family enjoy consuming them. So now after talking about those papayas, there's something also I wanted us uh, to learn about the papayas. There are some facts we need to study today about uh, the papayas. Guys, for those ones now who, who don't know about papayas, how this fruit is very important on my farm. Is number one, you know, papaya has many health benefits. All it can, it can help you uh, medically or avoid so many issues with doctors once you consume it. One of the health uh, benefits of this fruit you are seeing here today is that it helps in uh, high vision, the high challenge when you have when you are consuming it. The scientists, for those who have been studying about papaya, this one, so this some 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 small uh, biology about the, these uh, plants. It helps. Um, there's something called uh, lycopene that helps the retina, prevents the eye from losing uh, its vision. We are also told by the doctors that, that the papaya helps in uh, people with asthma. How does it help the people with asthma? By consuming high amount of fruits like vegetables and papayas, they normally assist in lowering uh, the risk of, de of developing asthma uh, from worsening. So, so if you're having asthma and you take this papay, this fruit here on our farm, it will help you from uh, uh, your asthma condition from uh, worsening. Also, it helps the bone. Remember papay, is a, is a, it, it has a lot of uh, vitamin K in it. So uh, when you consume a lot of uh, a lot of vitamin K in your body, it 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 it, it helps in um, helping reducing what we call bone fracture, because remember there's a lot of calcium on our bone. So at least papayas try to 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 re, to to re, to regrade them, and also people with diabetes. So so the shown studies have shown that people with this type of diabetes type one have to consume out of papaya which helps in lowering out of sugars in our in our bodies the same same papaya that we are seeing here today on our farm as you can see let me show you here this papaya as you see them here they help uh, something we call um, there we go and now you can see them clearly so they help they help also in digestion which pre prevents con con uh, constipation vomiting also they help in digestion they make sure that the digestion moves very fast uh, in the body also remember pai pai helps in uh, reducing uh, heart, heart condition they help also in um, hair because uh, our, our hair needs a lot of always uh, highly moisturized so so pai pai helps in uh, the hair to uh, moisturize so there are so many things digestion it prevents constipation as i've said there so so there are so many things that comes with pai pai and now how are you going to 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 ensure that you will not consume papaya, also you consume it, you mix it with, uh, with other fruits. That's what we are going to, to start. So we have already seen about the health benefits. So I will encourage most of you, or most of us, to ensure that at least we we consume papaya. As you can see in the farm here, it's very dry. We haven't received any for, for a while. But uh, for the fruits, they must benefit from water for us to continue. Having them, so those are the health benefits of papaya. So papaya is have, have a lot of health uh, benefit that we gain. Uh, something else that we have to look to is that papayas you would not only consume with them. Sometimes you have to make pudding when you are eating. Okay, uh, pudding is very necessary. Pudding, I mean here, you mix. Uh, you have a mixture of um, you have a mixture of papaya and uh, sweet banana and uh, pineapple you make a very good uh, pudding when you're eating so what after you have eaten you will feel something nice in your stomach well, you see these are fruits that you have consumed which will not cost you a lot so your health uh, continues to improve once you take these fruits so i told you pudding is very nice and uh, pudding remember in hotels is very expensive 
That's why you see me in my farm. I've planted the the, the papayas. You can see there. So you can see there is a papay that I've planted. I've also done bananas. I've also done some um, some oranges, which today they are, they are, they are because of it's dry here now. They're not doing well, but I normally try my best to do uh, a drip irrigation so that at least the fruits don't disappear. So I'm having them. So and also. Uh, sweet bananas, uh, as I've said, that the ones which are good with the papayas, so you make a good pudding. So instead of you rushing to hotel buying them in the evening or weekend, or at home with your kids, with your family, just make pudding of papay, uh, sweet bananas. You can put in uh, some avocados if you have them, because I've done also gravitated avocados here, but I've not done that well. I've been receiving small. Uh, just pudding mix you eat for lunch, and you will be healthy. All in the morning, when you, instead of you doing tea and uh, tea and bread, you can just go to the farm, take your 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 pa pa papai, eat it, and you'll feel good. So today we are going to harvest one, the small one. As I told you, we have to harvest one so that at least the one that looks at like is about to ripen up, so that we are going to eat it. So as I told you, the health benefits are good. So once you have these things on your farm. You reduce costs. No matter where you are staying, unless you are staying in the coastal parts of the country where you are coming from, you can grow anything on any soil. You know, in Kenya, we normally believe that loamy soil or red soil is the one that's best, or the black soil is the one that's best. In plant yes, it's the best one, I can say. The red soil, uh, the loamy soil is normally the best one. But once I have found myself on this kind of, on this kind of condition, I said I'll try my best to do everything I can. That's why I'm having all these kind of things I'm planting on my farm. Manure, every plant, uh, or normally ensure that before I put the tree or the stem of any plant I'm doing on my farm, I put manure. And the manure I'm putting in is organic pottery. I have pottery around. That's where I get my manure from. As you can see there, we cannot leave the papayas behind. I said they must be in the video. So I have to put them there. So I, I, the, the pottery that I have, where I get my manure from, is where I put everything from. So next time, and about next week, we're looking into other crops. You know, I've not only done fruits, this is a part of it. I've done other crops. I've shown you cassava, I've done, I've done uh, corn, I've done bananas, I've done uh, bell onion or pepper on my farm. Now next week, I'll show you something else I've done. Guys, don't worry why I'm not showing, taking you where a person has done a very big a plantation on these crops. You see, this is somebody you are doing them for your domestic use. And once you are doing them for domestic use, uh, you do them in small. You do not put papai trees on your on your on your small farm. You want to uh, maximize and minimize the space for every crop at least to get space. So next week we'll be looking at some something we call dania. Uh, it's consumed in so many countries with so many people. We are going to look at their uh, health benefits. So every time I'm bringing you a video, there must be an health benefit. That's why I'm doing all this in my farm. So I'm focusing on those ones because our health is very important. And the moment we reduce the cost of going to the shops, buying this, buying this processed food, here at home is good. Because even cooking flour, I was telling you uh, in the future, I normally take, get my maize from home. Uh, where uh, originally where I come from, the western parts of, the, of Kenya, I come here, I take them to the posho mill. Uh, then uh, the posho mill will give me the flour. They normally they are processed there, not be, they are being. Is there a way pro uh, that what is going? They're being processed, and then we are having flour. So next time I'll, I'll take you the maize to the posho mill, and then you will see how we get flour very easily at a low cost. Because buying a packet of flour in the country is about. 200 or one, 200 100, 190 shillings. But when I'm taking my maize with the flam, personally, I spend, I know, I want to pay is the use of somebody's machine to get for me uh, the maize and I have the flam. So, guys, that's not what that's not what we are focusing on. I'm just trying to tell you how you can reduce the cost on your farm, how you can earn things easily, how you can avoid. Uh, going to the market, you must, you must at least must be saving something in your pocket at the end of the 
at the end of the day because if you are working you don't want to consume all your money on the road you're able to save and do that money with other things you're able to do landscaping do anything that's nice on your compound so today today guys before we finish we must have one we must harvest one popo we go to the house and uh, then during the evening when i'm sitting with my family uh, we're able to have that small one uh that will have been planted so guys i'm not be able to have that one is a bit uh let me show you these fruits here i wanted to harvest these two but i cannot harvest them because i'm a bit short and uh, i'm waiting for my, my, my manager is coming going to remove them for me from there because uh, you can see they're ripening up and they need to be to be tended. so if, if i take them to the house i think by tomorrow i'll be able to to uh to have to have them so guys what please 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 try as much as you can to avoid uh, some cost on your on your pocket by planting some good fruits harvesting them and uh, keep yourself in good health so so when you see somebody healthy don't think that they're eating processed food something they have done uh, in their farms so behind there is my man who's coming up uh, to move for me these plants i want to show you how, how to have a good tourism bill so we are harvesting these two here. Itole, that one you see is taller, able to move here and here again. And that one there. So, so I'm there good to go. So I sounds good here. Yeah. yeah. So that's my manager, my our farm manager. Yes. Assisted us in harvesting the two. So uh, tomorrow or Tuesday, we'll be, be enjoying these ones once, once they'll be, once they'll be ripe. That's how easy, that, that's how easy is it when you have it from your farm. No, you don't have to ask permission for, from anyone. You just do your thing. So guys, until next time, as I said, please try as much as you can. Uh, subscribe to my channel, share, uh, and give a comment on what we can improve or what you want us to show you that can be planted on the cotton soil. Uh, now and uh, going uh, in the future. For the new subscribers, my name is Erasas uh, Oyaro. And see there, I'm a young Maasai. Because I found myself in the Maasai land, so I normally try to adapt to their culture and ensure that things are on symmetry. God bless you. Until next time, we meet again.